Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So as you saw there, we've got an exciting new trailer for the latest season on the LSG servers. Now, if you don't know much about our servers, our servers are a direct give back to our supporters and our active and loyal members, people that are really helping me and supporting our small little community in Space Engineers and various other games. So... What is this latest season all about? Well, Wizard was thinking, and he was talking to me. He said he wanted a way of players to be able to play like our YouTube series, like if you remember Colony Wars, if you remember Survival, and if you also remember the Orbiter 74 series. But the issue with this is we tend to handpick the players for this for various different reasons from characters, personalities, and we try to mash them together so it makes a fun and entertaining series. But lots of players want to give it a go with their own little crew. So this is what it's all about, bringing that Orbiter 74 series to you guys and giving you a chance to play it. Now, what we've got here is we've got two options. Some players love to do a bit of PvE and they're not so interested in the PvP and vice versa. So we've got options for you guys. You can choose to play PvE and remain on the planet or you can choose PvP and take place in almost like a bit of a race to a GPS location um, where you have to hold it against other players. So if you do decide to remain on the planet, here is a little bit of information for you. For the PvE role, it's fun, it's easy. Uh, after your orbiter fails to launch, as you saw in the trailer, you need to work together and prepare for an incoming DRF attacks. Working together with other factions to find and destroy the DRF HQ before the map ends. Now, hints for both of these modes is you're going to need to read the LCD screen so you know how to activate different things and get the station up and running. So, the PvE rules are quite simple, straightforward. There's no PvP within the gravity of the planet. Dead simple, dead straightforward. I know people are going to probably dance on the edge and cause some issues, but we'll, we'll see what happens when we get stuck into it. So... Let's have a look at the PvP mode. Now, the PvP mode, your team find themselves off the DRF home planet. So, your orbiter's successfully launched and the test is going well. Now, it's up to you to journey your way to a GPS shown on one of the LCD screens aboard the orbiter. You'll have to get there, but your systems, of course, are going to need some maintenance. They don't need upgrading and overhaul. And remember, there's no jetpacks on this particular map so no jetpacks in space is not not for the faint hearted and that's why the pvp mode we have put it for hardcore players not noobs do not lodge yourself into the pvp mode if you want a friendly time it's going to be hard um so you need to cover a minimum of 4320 kilometers a day to make the 29 day trip so across the month if you spend that amount of days traveling you should be able to make it to the final objective pretty exciting pretty sweet um quite straightforward follow the block limits get stuck in with pvp on your way so there is some map rules that we've got involved in this one as well there's 29 orbiters in play so this might confuse you what happens if them 29 orbiters are destroyed well as the orbiters get destroyed you're going to have to band together with other teams with other people and work together to continue on in your survival and we're really hoping this kind of bonds the community in more ways rather than having split off little factions of course there is 29 at the start so you can all be in your own little factions and whatnot with a minimum of two players on an orbiter but we'll see how this plays we'll see how it goes of course we're always up for changing things on the fly and listening to your feedback so we have got no base raiding and ship raiding in the PvE environment. Of course, we'll enforce that, we'll help you guys out. So we have put some rules as well in place for the PvP. So the PvP, as you're traveling through space, your objective is to reach the grid coordinates. It's not just to fly out and hover around. Of course, we, we can and can't enforce this. Um, it'll probably be enforced in the style of DRF attacks. So you guys want to head to the, uh, the location so you don't get smashed up. So PvP may have one large block, so the Orbiter ship as your main station, of course, you can mod it as you see fit. And you're also allowed one large mobile block um, plus base. So that makes kind of sense in the way that you can have a large ship that you can use around the Orbiter. But you can go crazy with the smaller ships if you need miners, drillers, whatever, to make it to that final location. Um, block limits are per grid. So here are block limits for this one. Rule of six per grid. Welders, grinders, drills and gatling guns. So let's talk server champion. How can you win this one? Well, the PvP faction still standing at the GPS in the end game 
will take home the server champion award now if you're a solo great you, you get it as a solo if you're a faction we'll slam it out to the whole faction but we really want to congratulate you on making it out to that pvp gps if you're on the pve side there is a server champion award up but we'll we'll give it out with a few different merits to try to you know show what a good pvp player is all about and remember there's no jetpack so any questions jump down in the comment section below and send them at me let's see what happens let's see what you guys are thinking about i'll be covering this on youtube side of things so you'll see how it develops if you don't want to play and of course you can always just click on the videos tune in see how the players are doing see what they're building and that's what our uh, lsg server is all about so thank you very much and i'll see you guys next time